Right, Dad? Another boiling day. Um, yeah, so it's about four days since I got home for the bloggers match. Uh, I promised to take Eddie out. Um, so we've come down the fender to Club Lake, um, pay for it once a year and that's it. And um, the lake was pretty much empty. Um, so I gave him the choice. There's a couple of pegs he instantly went, I wanted to fish here. And um, I'd explained to him that he couldn't float fish from those pegs, either they were in the car park or, uh, or there's too many overhanging trees. But uh, yeah, let's get, let's get into the baby. Um, so, so he's, uh, I got he brought walkie talkies with me and him and they beefed in all the time. Um, yeah, so he ended up picking the same peg we were in for the last video when the two boys were here. Um, and since he's got here, we haven't managed to catch any any kind of perch or silverfish or nothing at all. But um, yes, I think I think they'll pick up in the morning. We'll, we'll wait and see. Um, yes, so it's a boiling hot day. There's was that a fish jumping? No, it's not this one. It's boiling hot day. We got down here and loaded the car. When you're unloading for two, it always it takes two loads, and it absolutely ruins me on a hot day. Um, what other th things went disaster? For you? Oh yeah. Um, I was gonna bait up all the margin where I'd caught the fish last session. Um, so I went there, sprinkled a little bait in there, and then the ducks come to eat. And then about 15 swans moved in, and they turned the whole area over. Um, uh, there's nothing I could do about it. Um, I both, baited both sides of the margins. One of them's a lot deeper than the other. Um, and that one's been left alone, so maybe maybe I'm gonna just keep a rod chuck to the left-hand side instead of the right-hand side. I think m most of the, what I was feeding was, I was scooping out was like, uh, where, where's my bucket? That's outside. Um, it's all chopped up foilies and crumb and pellet. Can I say something? Yes, you can. Want something good news? Go on, good news. I casted my pole. I chucked my pole out, and then I landed it on top of a cup. That's why not another fish are biting my pole. Oh well, yeah, that's so. Yeah, so Eddie's little pole. Um, under the float, the carp erupted underneath it, and that's that's the reason he's given for not catching anything since we got you. Um, what was that about? There's something right by your float, is that? Is this Ed? I can't film like this with you talking nonsense to the side. But, uh, yes, and that thing beeping. Oh my god! I think I'm gonna have a seizure before the end of this. Uh, it's boiling here. Yeah, I'm sweating. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so the bait I was checking out is it's mainly bits of particle, bits of chop boilie and stuff like that. So hopefully they they'll have only picked up the big chunks of boilie and left a little left a, a bed of bait out there, I hope. Um Yes, I think I've scared away about about seven or eight swans since. They're all coming back to see if they can have a quick poke around, see if there's anything left. Um I found that if you drop like a three ounce lead right next to a swan while it's at the end of the water, it quickly moves off. But, um, yes. Uh, what am I using today? I don't know. I'll do, a, I'll do another update later. What do you reckon? It's hard to say. It's, it's a, it doesn't seem that long, but it's a, it's a fat, broad fish. Twenty-three eight. Twenty-three eight. Twenty-three and a half. 
Let's pull that off a sec. So, yes, on a little uh, single scope X bottom bait. Um, <laughs> I thought the area would have been totally trashed with uh, the swans turning over on the bait, but uh, there we go. A 23 pound eight. Common. It's a big, big, chunky common. What do you think, Ed? It's massive. Yep. Look at it. What? There we go. Twenty-three pounds eight. Absolutely steamed off, and then rip line as well. Kept going. Kept going. <sighs> Absolute steam train of a fish. Can lift out all the fins here. <laughs> you don't need to pull out his bottom fins. Right. Let's uh, get a photo and stick him back. Goes. Quite a productive night last night. Uh, nice big 20, well, I say big 20, 23. Um, but solid lump of fish. Absolutely. It ripped. Well, they all seem to be doing that. Uh, well, the last couple I've had at the fender have probably been sort of like rod bending, sort of like dragging you around. Uh, but uh, yes, it's morning. Eddie's been up since 6 o'clock. Um, tangled one pole up to an absolute mess, then he started another pole up. Uh, but he's had a couple of small uh, red now. He hasn't had any perch yet, and that's all he's been chasing. Three. We've caught three of you, right. But uh, yes, I'm gonna go all out and try to cook myself a tidy breakfast in the bivvy. Let's see, see what sort of mess I make of that. I've got two frying pans on the go. Um, what have I got? Brought these from home, some sausage, so, and some hash browns. So, maybe if I can stretch this for two days. Do you want sausage, Ed? Do you want hash brown? Nope, that's a no for everything, brilliant. Eddie live on cereal and crisps for two days. Uh, so, get them on there. What have I got else to do? Well, I've got some eggs. Oh. And I got some Asda's high quality baking grill and a can of uh, beans and sausage. You come in the bivy with a little tiny fish here. Yeah? I'm going to drip in all of my food. Yes, you drip in right over the frying pan. Go away now. I believe this is a, a cheese knife or something, but it's the only knife we don't use in the kitchen. So I just picked it up and it doesn't matter if I lose it or break it. I don't like anything yet. You don't like anything. Two hash browns, bacon grill, sausage, two eggs, baked beans. All I need now is a is a toaster. Eh? Here we go. Mini mega breakfast on the bank. I always I've always felt um, a bit apprehensive about cooking up a lot of food on the bank, or just like doing multiple things. But not bad. Don't eat them both at once. Mm. See you later. <laughs> there they are, trashing my 
margin baited spot. Only two. I think there was seven yesterday. So I started swinging this bomb run round and they all decided to swim off. But, uh, little sods, isn't it? See if he pops up with anything in his mouth. Nothing in his mouth. I just do my head in for fun. So, midday update. Um, Eddie's having a cereal with no milk um, from Choice. Oh, we had a run, didn't we? Yeah, got one. We had a run on the where the, where the swans had been ploughing through all the ground there. I put a little rotten ear out. And bad news is we missed it. No, I hit it. Um, and it cut straight, straight into the lilies. And I was there, uh, it was slowly working its way back out and then uh, then I hit something hard. And then it snapped the line. And it, I could feel like resistance for about a second, two seconds, and it went ping. So there's obviously something in there. Uh, I don't know, a stick. Float. Chunk of metal, something. And uh, the line didn't like. So um, that was uh, still the barbless rig that I had from uh, from the bloggers mat so the fish gets out of there it's a barbless rig so it should just spit it quite quickly uh, yes so we've we had a run last night we've had a run this morning and um, and now you're eating cereal on the bank no you had a couple of small ones haven't you no. He's had the smallest perch I've ever seen in my life. I've I... only saw, I've only got one perch. That's it. Right. One perch. One perch. You've had a load of red though, haven't you? Uh-huh. He rushes over to show me and usually drops them on the floor, doesn't he? Oh, because they do not stay still. Yes. But, uh, I don't know. The sun's come out and it's quite nice wearing the bivvy now. The sun's... Uh, sun's not by a peg but it is behind the pig. Yeah, so we're gonna sit behind you five minutes, warm up and energize and then think about what we're gonna do to try and catch fish tonight, I think. While you sit there tangling up the pole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, we'll catch you guys later. You find in the white maggots are better in the with the water being a bit cloudy. Do you know why? Because I had a red one, I dropped it in the water, and it turned yellow. Did it? It turned this colour. Well it wouldn't do that, Ed, because the skin no, is dead. It died. did, it did. It did, is it? Alright. If that's what you believe, then yes, that's brilliant. You caught one tiny as Ed? Yeah, small. No. This is smaller than the other one I caught. Right, so Eddie's been feeding maggots all day, hasn't been very successful. And then about five minutes ago, almighty big plumes of bubbles started just coming up like as if someone was ripping the bottom up down there. So I've reeled one of my rods in and just literally placed little snowman rig. Probably four or four foot off the side and I've lowered Eddie's down so it's touching the bottom because we were fishing really shallow. And he's put a big bunch of uh, maggots on there. So ideally, if it's a carp, it'll pick up the pick up the snowman rig. But if it's an eel, which I'm thinking it might be because of the way the, the, the way the, bubble, the bubbles are coming up, we'd like to see an eel on, on Eddie's whip. But, uh, so 
So we'll just sit and wait this out and hopefully something will happen. So we've got him. We've just got him. My dad's over there with him. Got the hook out. Take, take, take the, <laughs> take, take the, oh, I'll weigh him this way, okay? How much pounds is he? He is one pound, three ounces. Nice! I can't lift him. Yes, you can. Try. Stop. I can, like this. That's awful. That's awful. Take him up properly, hand under the head. Hi. By his neck. Grab him by ear. I don't know where his neck is. Grab him by ear. Grab and then grab his tail by ear. Grab his tail by ear. Ah. Look at me. I can't see your face now. There we are. What's that? Show the camera. One. One pound three ounces of Fenrod eel. We saw something pluming the bubbles up, so we put a cart bait out, and I and I lowered Eddie's whip rig right there. down to the bottom. There's still something there. There's still something fizzing there. Yeah. Do you want to let him go in? Yeah. Is he off? Yep, he's off. He's off. And off he goes. And away he goes. So he must have eaten every maggot you've chucked out today? Yeah. Let me throw that. What's that like then, Ed? You've caught yourself a specimen eel. Really good. Really good? Yes. Oh, well, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, Eddie's first ever eel, and he's beaten William's biggest. Uh, I think William's was like one pound one. We had it from the Brickworks Pond, I think it was. And um, Eddie's is now one pound three. God, it probably would have been better if you hadn't spewed up all those maggots. I think it's thrown every maggot. It uh, eaten every maggot he's thrown out. That, that would answer why he hasn't caught anything most of the day. So it was a successful little session, whatever happens. Eddie's got a new PB eel. And he's beaten his brother. <laughs> right. It's getting a bit warm now. I might, uh, I don't know. Oh! He just had another eel sprung off, and it's and Eddie being overzealous, put it into the sky and then wrapped it all around my rod. It's gone round about ten times. Stop. Right, ripping it up now. He's just lost two more eels, um, but he's still fishing right in the bottom with a bunch of six maggots on. So. It's almost like an invitation card for yours. But, uh, yes. On the flip side of that, when I pulled my rod in, I got, I lifted this right hand rod um, through the lilies, and I somehow managed to clip the other line while I was trying to get it out of the lilies. Leave out the walk over there. And then you're a fish. And... Well, you're a fool. You've got another one. It's a face in you, Dad? Yes, it is. There's Daddy. We get the next one, Dad. And then there's an eel. Don't worry. There's another one. Come on, it's not coming out. Fine, I'll just use my net. No. Use that net. Just too big. Let's just try. Try my basket. Yeah, we've just got one. 
We've just got one. Yeah, he still has him. Did you catch one? Yeah. Yeah. It's not on this rod. It's on that rod. I did catch an eel. That's my first time ever catching an eel. But it's, this is not the rod. Pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. Sally, caught the fish! It's still on the rock. Wait till his head comes up. It's a ghost cut. I said, wait, his head comes up. Yeah, just hang up. Am I just going to hold this for two hours? Yep, hold it for two hours. Okay. I genuinely thought we wouldn't have anything from that spot ever. Mm hmm And you did. There's two. No, you started the video, and then... And we're still recording. Yep. Yep. Well, I think we're facing the sky, though. Yeah, you're facing the sky. Right, Ed? No. No. Ed? It's running. Ed? 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 Ed
You ready to go? Oh, do you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do a little run through of the bait we used. Um, and I literally got my left. So, started off with a good few handfuls of uh, uh, Scopex and Spoodie and Shellfish. Then I went to the freezer. Pulled out a load of um, throat, uh, spirulina freezer baits. They'd been frozen and defrosted, and they'd gone a bit soft. And I had a load of uh, rose hip isotonic. All went in there, and a couple of odds and bits and pieces. I had a bag uh, that I'd ground up for um, PVA bag mix that, that had been in there for a while. So I just chucked that in, and it just, it just clogged it all up, nice and thick coated. I added a few bits of MV1 um, bait syrup and some Atlantic crab bait syrup. So it stinks. It stinks and it's I think it's a good attractor. Well, it's working, I've had two twenties on it so far. Another eel. Another eel? A slimy thing you can't hold. Oh let's go. So you turn over in your hands about 20 times now, Ed. Right, That's a good shot. Yeah, he is. He's a bit foamy, but hey ho. Okay, let's let him go. Let's let him go. Just under a pound, I think it was, when we put it on the scales, but it looked a little smaller. Ed, pull the net out so we can get out. He's just sort of curled up into a ball in the net. And. There he goes. Got a lovely shot of the net then and nothing else. Off he goes. Happy now, Mr. Eel Fisherman? Yeah! Right, time to cook some dinner. Maybe looks a bomb sight, but try taking an eight-year-old fish in who as soon as he's not catching, climbs in and starts pulling everything out of the bivy. Um, and just trashes the place literally. There are there's dirty footprints on the pillow over there. Uh -huh. And everything's been pulled out, things I haven't used for years. Um, so, but what have we got for dinner? So Eddie. You, were ha you wanted minestrone soup. Finest. So we'll get that on. There we go. I have got an old favourite. Beef ravioli. But um, we're going to try. Fry up some of these tinned potatoes. Let's see what they come out like. And then have the ravioli over the top. Might be nice, might be disgusting. <laughs> the only thing is that I'm gonna ring pull, so here we go. Voila, there we are. There we go, let's transfer it to this bowl. So there's a whole tin of potatoes in there. I've done a little splash of cooking oil. It's one thing I did remember. Let's see what these actually come out like. There they are, it's taken probably forever and half a can of gas, but they start to go golden. So I'm gonna pop them out now, chuck them in my bowl. Oh, that's a bit off. Here we go. Oh. 
So if I go if I lift over the side, I'm not going to scoop all the sauce over. Do a bowl full of sauce to it. Fishing and eating. Mm -hmm. There we go. To be fair, it's not fancy. It's not something you travel a million miles to go and eat. But um, it's a lot more substantive than um, a pot noodle. When this, I've, I think this has cost me about one pound fifty, two pound for the two cans, and it's pretty good. Could do with a bit of salt, maybe some pepper on top. It's still pretty good. Here they come to wreck my baited spot. They're literally swimming over my ten wrap spot there. I bet one of them will stick his face down. There you go. So, I catch the fish, and you know, my dad's got, we didn't use the net to get it, but my dad's got it in the cradle, trying to get, unhook him, but he's got, he's turned around loads of times, and he's tangled it around him. If you want to see, I'm going to show you guys. As you can see. Disgusting things. Say something. It's literally lightly hooked, but it, it wraps itself around about 30 times. Look at the state of your line now. Look at that. Caked in a ton of eel skin. Back. Did I put the eel back? It gone down there. Yeah. Come back. By my own hands. Let's let him go. Let's go, guys. Where are you going? This is Warren. Oh, he actually fits in the bucket. Now he's going to be really slimy. Nah, I can't, I can't. Yeah, put it in a bucket, a water bucket. That's a really clever idea, Ed. I, I can't get him. He'd be like... I literally can't get him. You can't get him out now. You're going to have to pour the bucket out. Um, I'm going to need my net. I'm going to need the net. Can you go? Just pour the bucket out, Ed. Okay, I'll put the bucket. Where are you going? You could have just gone by there. Oh, nice go. Come on, weigh him. He's like, he's about half a pound, Dad. Just weigh him. No. Okay. Off he goes. And there he goes. Where are we? Out the bucket. When you say put him back, you don't put him back in a bucket of water. So, when we put him back, we're going to put him in there, and then he won't get slimy because there's no water. He'll be really slimy then. There's no water in there. Right. Down a little bit. Nice again. So we've come to the agreement that if Eddie catches another eel, then there's no more eel fishing till tomorrow morning. Because <laughs> I'm not dealing with those slimy little things before bed. Oh, there it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Oh, it's come off. Look at the fizzing down there now. Oh, I can't see it. Good night, Ted. Good night. You haven't stolen my phone in there, have you? Yeah. What are you watching? Nothing. What are you watching? Nothing. Let's have a look. Nothing. Pass it here. Pass it here now. What's he watching? YouTube. YouTube. I'm taking my phone off you. <laughs> Getting ready for the last night. 48 hours with Eddie. I've got my three rods out. And we've still got a herd of swans making their way down the beach, down to the shallows. But, um, yes. Ooh, pull this back. 
Uh, never looks nice after after a night on the bank, does it? Right, yes. So we're going into what's been quite a prolific day. A cart run during the day here um, on on these pegs is it's not a common occurrence, and um, we had a nice one during the night. Eddie's been catching eels all day, having a wave of a time. Um, so, whatever happens now is a bonus. We've had quite a good session. Um, yeah. So we'll see, we'll see. Right. I'm going to finish off a few little tidy up pieces before we go to bed and um, try and get a proper night's sleep. Well, I said maybe we have a run or two. Maybe. <laughs> I'll catch you in the morning. Morning. N nothing doing in the night. Um, Eddie just made us both coffee, so got the kettle on. I'm standing up to see my fruit. Eddie's been up since about six. So I'm just. I think I'm just using the last of this gas canister now. For this cup of coffee, and um, Eddie's been out perch fishing. It seems that catching all those eels yesterday, Gone. that there's uh, nothing that the perch are seem to be back in the swim. You know it's really. Yeah, it's a drizzly day today. Not, not, not the heat wave again we were forecast. Might be coming. I think these weather forecasts are absolute nonsense, aren't they? <laughs> This is this is our heat wave weekend. It is. It's now. What is it? Saturday morning. Saturday and Sunday were supposed to be blazing hot, sunny days. We've got drizzle and it's. Well, I turn you around. It's. It's it's drizzling and we've got a thick overcast sky. I love a heat wave. <laughs> Get in, Ed. I need to run out there in the rain, put the shoes on. Eel fishing has resumed, and Eddie is having trouble bloody holding them. Just chuck it back. He's off he goes. Now clean the slime off your hands. Look at him, look at him. Yeah. He is massive. So it is ten ounces. Ten ounces. There we are. We're taking a couple of photographs. Can I put it back. Yeah, let's put it back. Off he goes. There we are. Just dropped them clean down. Since the rain's picked up, I've had two runs and lost both of them. One of them kited straight into the lilies to the right. Um, and it's one of the barbers hook rigs and it went straight into the lilies, buried it, went tight and next thing I know I'm pulling back chunks of lilies on the hook. And the other one, um, Dad, this is a massive one as well. Oh, what's he got there? This is a massive one as well. You just swung that in, did you? Yeah, he's a massive one. There we are. Let him go down. Sorry, you can't see this, but let him go. But he's gonna go. Yes, so he's living the dream catching perch, and I'm. It's raining and everything's in the bivy. Um, yes. So, what did I say? I had one lost in the lilies, and the other one. Um, the other one just came off. Just came off. It was a phantom run. Um, Christ, my brain's not working this morning. Uh, so I just re re <laughs> rebaited, cast back out in the same spots, put one back in the margins, one back out to the baited spot. Um, fresh bait, new PVA bag on one of them, and 
We're gonna cook some late breakfast. It smells good. Second bivy fry up. The three eggs. Three eggs piled into one. A sausage. Two ash browns, or well, they fall into bits as well, lovely. And about four, four slices of bacon grill. Eddie's already had his breakfast. He's eaten all the bacon grill. Do you know what? When I posted a picture, I posted a picture of my breakfast yesterday on, on Instagram, I think it was, and floods through to um, uh, what to call it, Facebook. The amount of people commenting, oh, disgusted eating spam and stuff like that. They do, they really do not know what they're missing. The taste. <laughs> they're missing the taste. Eddie, Eddie loves it. Um. Give another contender for biggest perch of the session. You're going to pick up a scale and then not know what the hell it means? Five zero. Right, obviously the bag's not zero. Because you've been fiddling with it, yeah. And what have we got? Ten ounces again. <laughs> Third 10 ounce perch of the session for you. Mm -hmm. Everyone you think is bigger than the last, but they're all exactly the same weight. Right, let's slip it back then, is it? And off it goes. Straight off down. Good one. We got it in the net. <laughs> Before we get the carp on the mat, Eddie's managed to get two little perch while I was playing my carp in. So let's have a look. Oh, look at them. Two little solid perch, staples of the lake. Oh, there we are, do some weird pick them up. Right, quickly put them back then and we can get the calf on the mat then. Calf on the mat, but I know too many edges with calf. He is lighter than I thought. He's going to be 17 pounds 6. Still a cracking car, man. Let's get some. You always find these. They're sort of high teens. They are the absolute. They beat you up. Fish, so there we go. What did I say? Seventeen pound six. Lovely powerhouse of a car, man. Would be a nice way to end the session. I think it's it's nearly time we started packing down. And another one on the old Scope X that seems to be yet in one of my favourite baits at the moment. But, uh, yes. We're slipping back and we'll start packing down. Awesome stuff there, didn't it? What an absolute thrasher. Took about nine attempts to get a tidy photograph of it. How big is it? Ten ounces. <laughs> We're going to go by it. They're all ten ounces now, is it? Yeah. Still bagging perch while we're packing things down. Bivy is nearly empty there. Just a few more things to pack down. And Eddie's still bagging perch. No tracking back? Have fun trying to hold this thing. Yeah, I know. The bivvy's packed down already, and Eddie's still fishing for eels. I tried to dry this I'm stuff. I'm where the baby is. I'm where the baby is. The baby's already up. Pick him up then. Let's go. There we go. Oh, he's off. He's off the real one. <laughs> and he's going to dance around inside my cradle, covering it in slime. You gonna try and pick him up? 
It's like a little Ben Hill show watching him dance around in there now with you trying to pick him up. There we go. Last deal of the session, is it? Yep. Time. No, maybe not. Nope, we're going home. We maybe can catch another one if mm. I pull my rod back out. I think we'll let this one go and then we'll put the rods away. No. Keep yes. our rods first out. Keep Everything's okay. away and it's the rain is coming in Ed. We need to get things packed down. We can't just keep fishing until everything's destroyed in the rain. <laughs> there we go. Last eel of the day. Do you want to put it in the net and let it go? There we go. Eddie's last eel. And how far off he goes. There we go. Let's try and get some of this slime off, but then I'm going to have a wet net in the car. Right. So this is the end of the 48 hour session, Ed. It's been a little bit longer than 48 hours. Um, what have we had? I think I've lost three carp, but landed three carp. Um, 23, 20 and 17. Swans absolutely ruined me and I don't, I, I'd be happy if someone took all the swans from you and took them somewhere else. Um, Eddie, you've had a good, good haul. First couple of days, nothing. Every single swan is coming. I know, because you've thrown bread out of and the swans are coming to ruin the swim. So next time they'll come and wreck our swims earlier because they think, oh, that boy feeds us. Um, yeah, what have you had? You had eels to start with, then all perched today. Last thing was the eel. Yes, last thing was the eel because you wouldn't reel in or swing your rod in. But we're all packed up. Ooh, there it is. There's the barrow and everything stacked up on the top of there. Um, yes. I am tired, I'd be happy to sleep in a bed tonight. You need to clean your hands, you stinky and black fingernails and everything like that. So get home, pack everything away, have a shower, and then on to the real world next week, back to work. And uh, never mind, we'll come back out sometime soon, all right? Okay, catch you next time we're on the bank. Ta-da. Just a little profit. Okay.